Welcome back. We're heading into the busy summer moving season, and these days a lot more families are choosing to rent their homes. Yeah, it's partly because of the high home prices, but there are some other factors to consider as well. Uh, Nicole Brady is here with a new report card that could help you consider whether to rent or buy. Well, there are a lot of numbers to consider, how much the house will appreciate versus what you have to pay for closing costs. But instead of making you do the math, Zillow has done it for you and come up with one simple number. Here in the Denver Metro, you have to live in your house for two years and three months for it to make sense to buy. That is the break-even point for 2018. This year marked the first time that the average price of a single-family home in the Denver Metro crossed the $500,000 threshold. Meanwhile, the average rent for a single-family home is just over $2,000 a month. Now, money may not be your only consideration. Zillow says 40% of renters say proximity to work is a big factor. If you're not sure where you'll be working in the next two years, having the ability to move around the metro area is invaluable, especially with the growing traffic. Buying, however, might be better if you have pets. I checked and about half of the single family home rentals listed in the Denver area right now don't allow animals. Now, of course, this is based on the fact that home values nationwide are rising right now. One of our viewers pointed out to us on Facebook, if the value of your home falls, as a lot of people are afraid it will in Denver, you could lose money owning if you had to sell that home at a loss. Guys, things to consider.